Assalamu alaikum. Everyone is talking about a nose job. People are not satisfied with their noses, subhanAllah. So am I allowed as a Muslim to have a nose job? Well, is there something wrong with your nose? That's the first question you need to ask yourself. The same applies, your teeth, everyone wants to have braces. People are asking, is it okay? Is it not okay? Is there something wrong with your teeth? If there is absolutely nothing wrong, then don't do it. So the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ speaks about the gap that people were creating between their teeth as a fashion following a trend that is totally prohibited. You're not allowed to create a gap between your front teeth because there is a clear cut hadith that says that's not allowed. But if your bite is not normal or something is wrong with it, and if your teeth are not straight, something is wrong with them, they are skew, they are not normal. In that particular case, you can bring it back to normal. So you're allowed to use braces to have a better bite or to have a, a much better bite, your almost perfect bite. Also, you're allowed to use braces if your teeth are skew or they're abnormal, they're really irritating you and you want to make them straight, but not for fashion purposes and not for purposes of creating a gap between the front teeth because there is a specific hadith in that regard. As for a nose job, it falls under the, the verse of the Quran where Allah speaks about the prohibition of changing the creation of Allah. But if there is something wrong with your nose, you are definitely allowed to have a nose job. Remember this, if your nose, you have a deviated septum, it's affecting your breathing and so on, you can have an op to actually correct that. Similarly, if it is bent beyond what is considered normal. So everyone's nose is slightly bent. You need to know that. I mean, I haven't seen anyone with an absolutely perfect nose. There will be something, a small percentage that the eye does not really notice. So there is a leeway that's considered normal. Ask your doctor or ask people around you, is it normal? If it is normal, alhamdulillah, leave it. Don't touch it, don't change the creation of Allah. If something is wrong, if something is wrong with your nose and it is a little bit too bent, even if you can breathe properly and there is a, uh, you know, like I can say clearly bent and it's irritating you, you are allowed to actually get that nose job to straighten it. But some people, they just want to, you know, shave off part of the nose, make it slim and thin like somebody else's and so on. When it was just normal, that is not allowed in Islam. Remember that you cannot play with something that is absolutely normal. So the same applies to anything else, your eyes. You cannot just have an operation to play with your eyes to do something. I mean, I don't know of people who really tamper with their eyes, but you are allowed to have laser treatment when you cannot see so properly and you want to have better vision. There is nothing wrong with that op. It's not considered changing the normal creation of Allah. It's just correcting and rectifying something where a defect was found. Similarly to wear glasses, you're allowed to wear glasses because you cannot see or you, ha you can have sunglasses because uh, of the sun or you can have anti-glare glasses or blue light, the, the glasses that cut out the blue light for the screen. You're allowed to have that completely. So that is something that you've added on. It's not actually the changing of the creation of Allah. If a person has six fingers, they have an option of chopping off what is sorry to use the word chopping off but you know what i mean of operating or doing a procedure to remove that particular extra finger that they have because it's extra but if they want to live with it just like that and it's okay it's up to them same applies if you have siamese twins you should be having a procedure to separate them if inshallah you know that would be uh, the best. So Alhamdulillah, that's permissible. It's not called changing the creation of Allah in that case, because you're bringing something that was uh, not so normal or had a defect to that which is normal within the scope of what is considered normal. So I hope those who have deviated septums, here you go. Those who perhaps have a really bent nose that's bothering them really badly, it's considered abnormal, here you go. You may have the procedures in order to rectify that, but to play games with what is normal is not allowed in Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Just a quick tip, people were asking me, why do you have braces? Well, for the same reason. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.